Okay. I gotta show you guys something that creeped me out. First of all, you see there's like shadows of birds, right? But there's no damn birds in the sky. Crazy. How wild. We gotta hide in here? What's up good looking people of YouTube? Himawari Bro here, and today we're going to be playing Fierce to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. Now I just want to make a quick disclaimer out there. Um, I attempted to make a recording on this game maybe a, a week ago. And during my recording, there was a power outage, and it corrupted or it, it like messed up the recording so i did play this game up until i think the first night is the chapter yeah the first night um but i don't want to just continue from there because the original video file is no good so i just wanted to put that out there so up until the first night, I kind of know what happens. I got to like the part where I think I was trying to log into the computer or something. Uh, it's I can't really remember right now. Um, but I also noticed that there were like some really bad glitches in the game that kind of made it really hard to continue with the recording or like during my playthrough because at one point, I was crouched inside the the tower 11, I think is where we're at. Tower 11. And then I uncrouched and it glitched me th through the floor into like this little section here. And I was stuck there. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't want to bore you guys to death, so we're going to hit new game. Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, Ironbark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. There we go. So I, I read in the beginning that all of this music is copyright free, I believe, so... I think I missed that in my first initial. Let's see if to read messages. Yeah, we're not gonna read it right now. So my first playthrough, I turned it off because I was scared that it was copywritten, but... I'm not... I guess I paid attention this time. I lived a very solitary life. Helps quiet my mind. Keep the memories at bay.
This is a pretty nice saw. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Okay, I know there's a parking lot we can pull up to and we're gonna read the messages there. The diner Kayla was talking about. Okay, let's park like decent human beings this time. Eh, good enough. Mitch Scott, um. I think this is the guy that hired us, and then this is our sister. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No. Why? I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. Roseburg. Roseborg? They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Okay. Got a nice little cozy uh, abode here. Pretty sweet. You know, one day, one of these days, I'm going to get myself a, a mobile home. Living on an island, though, it's not... that needed because everything is so close but yeah it's the same guy how's that burger three kids went missing that's right I forgot about that Something else happened. Something else? A creature got him? Oh, like Bigfoot or a goat man. Damn, he makes that burger sound so freaking good. Okay, enough dilly dallying. Let's go. Hello! How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Feel free to take any seat you like, I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. Cool jukebox. If that is a jukebox, I'm not too sure. Cool, let's sit right here. What do you got on the menu? Huh? Oh god, Jesus Christ, lady. I'm Barbara, are you ready to order? Yes. The cheeseburger. Ha, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? You know, give me a strawberry slush. Perfect, anything else? That'll be all, thank you. I don't know if you need anything else. We'll do, ma'am. Alright. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, yes, it's all coming back to me now. 
this guy. He just stared at me. Yeah. I remember I had issues with that guy. Damn, no one zipping up the pants or anything. We're just ripping it right through. I was done with it. <laughs> okay. I'm super excited for this game. I was a little lost on uh, the first night, but hopefully I'm not as ditzy with it this time around. You know, I don't want to sit next to that guy. But I really don't want to sit in front of the bathroom. Can I sit here? Yeah, I guess not. Alright, we're sitting here. Oh shoot, really? You gotta go back to the same one? Damn, that one had a perfect view of this guy. I feel like I got a cough. Dude. Hell yeah. What peculiar fucking eating noises. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. You gotta get the fries well done. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. I'm jealous of you. Again? Told you. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Oh yes. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit? Sure. Oh shoot, I didn't even... Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Thank you. Cozy little place you got here. Where did that guy go? You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna save that for later. Oh shit, hello. 760. You know what? I tipped you 15% last time. Let's do 50. Because it's just so damn good. Oh. Okay, there's a there's an achievement, I guess. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah, thanks for the great food. Okay. I thought I closed the store. Unless that guy came in here. Okay. I gotta show you guys something that creeped me out. First of all, you see there's like shadows of birds, right? But there's no damn birds in the sky. Crazy. Then... Then, our door is open. I'm sorry, did I peek the mic? Forgive me. And the bathroom door was strangely jammed. That fucking creep is in here. Everybody's poet, and that's just how it go. I know you miss me, it's history, it's all like Roman. My whole body work like clockwork, it's all 
all have it. I just want you to fall back. All sad and then light sad and you shine in the sky. Yet I need you in the sky to the sky. Yet I'm you. Real dumb, real stupid. That's that life caught up in the pictures and the movies. It sounds right. Okay, let's go. God, I really want a burger now. 8.02 p.m. I don't know if I could ever get like an RV or mobile home. Out in like a big, as big of a place as like the United States. I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Okay, I wasn't very proud of my driving. I'm sorry. The brakes don't seem to work. My guy is taking a huge ass shit. You better not clog my toilet, boy. I'll charge you. Repairs and everything. You're gonna change my oil too. Maybe get me a new transmission and whatnot. Ah. Oh. oh my God! Yeah, that got me the first time. I was so pissed. I wish I could have included that into this recording because I was so off guard I screamed oh it would have been fantastic holy moly you scared me I thought you were one of them one of who may lord have mercy okay there Rick Grimes you gonna tell me who can I see your permit please you're Billy right I'm the new transferred fire lookout is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on. Let me check on that. <gasps> There's someone there! Whoa! I just noticed that! Okay, while you do that, I'm gonna check something really quick. Oh my god, I just... I just noticed that. Dude, that sent shivers down my spine. Okay, still, still jammed for some reason. Oh, you actually come out to get me? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Bro, give me a gun. Oh my god. Dude, that sent shivers down my spine. I saw the silhouette of someone. Walking. Whoa. If you're not paying attention, you would not have seen it. The three kids? Huh. Okay, dude. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. I'd love a f I'd love a rifle or something. Next, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. Okay, it was a weather report. I was having issues with the weather report, <clears throat> and I'm not too sure why. 
If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Oh. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Yeah. Oh, that's... If there's bobcats and bears, shouldn't I have a weapon? Give me, like, a pistol. Some, well, I don't think a pistol will be good for a bear. I need something to defend myself. Come on. You got it, boss. Uh, I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Alright. I wonder if other people had issues. Eleven thirty-two p.m. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Bro, I, I don't think I could ever do a job like this. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Yeah, I think that's tower 12? Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Right. Oh, I missed the door. Where's the door? There we go. Close that. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home. Oh, sorry. I missed out. So. <clears throat> what was the password? Iron Bark 11. So, radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Jeez. Rainbow 98, that's right. So, yeah, I got stuck here? Right. Our software developed by the... Oh god! Jesus! Jack Nelson, right? Oh, shoot. I saw your light there, hon. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. I really like the voice acting in this game. It's well done. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. <clears throat> Met the job, but had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change, my guy. Transfer from Iron Hawk. Uh, huh? Iron horse. Comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. You got a 
fire going? Air yeah. lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. So we get iron, or I mean, uh, wood downstairs. Oh, you know what? I forgot my flashlight. That's an M. Okay, Marley. Staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyway, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. What happened? What, what, what happened with Marley? Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Oh, I forgot my flashlight. How wild. Oh no. We gotta hide in here? Oh, I don't like discovering that. Fuck, we gotta hide again? Damn it, dude. The fuck we gotta hide from bears? No. Why would we be... Okay. Jesus, can I... Perfect. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? I did not, sir. Oh, okay, that's the best I can do, I guess. Did you report for the night yet? No, let me get to it. get to it, then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Right. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Right. Okay, what do we need to look for? We need to look for temperature, wind speed, weather condition, and number of hikers assisted. Got it. Wind speed is this thing, yes. Knots. Seventeen knots. Update reporting software. All right. Wind speed. Seventeen knots. Oh, does it not save the information? So 17 knots. And this has got to be the temperature, no? Fahrenheit. 50. Oh, come on. Perfect. 
And then weather conditions? Looks pretty cloudy to me. Oh god, jeez. Rude. So, what is it, 50? 17. Cloud? Yeah, cloud, I guess. Zero. Reported by. Oh, what's our name? Oh god. Are we Jake? Something Nelson. Jason Nelson? Jack Nelson. Jack Nelson. Okay. Something didn't look right. Yeah, okay, so I was stuck here. What, what am I supposed to put? One? I didn't help anyone. 